Hello everybody and this is Justin of the Auto Expositor on the 20th of September of 2015 and we are at Porte Saint-Jean in Vieux-Québec in Quebec City and uh, I know this is probably going to be at my own detriment but uh, there was a message I was left by Free Radio Revolution on uh, the network as left in a whole bunch of other communities as well. And uh, it was in regards to the episode that Chrissy and I did um, talking about whether or not we're being fooled for the WDBJ as well as the LGBT agenda to take a second pillar stance. And um, we didn't get a good lot of feedback from Free Radio Revolution, uh, as well as a couple others. Um, but as for this one right here, where it is a public message, essentially we were told that either we support what all these channels are doing, even though I don't think that they act uniformly either, or we are against them, or it must just be some type of personal thing. And I want to address that in a way Jeff was right in a certain sense a few weeks ago when this fallout started I was angry I was upset and I'm still upset as to what happened once I and, and I was angry when I realized what was going on but after I realized, or after now, what I think I have realized the reason why this is happening, I can't be angry with Jeff. I can't be angry with you, man, if you're watching. Because I think I've learned something that it's not... It's not necessarily the things that you're doing or saying. It's, it's not something that you may even know that you're doing. And I think that you do truly believe you're doing the right thing when you say that we are never to disagree or have criticism towards the larger channels that, ex that are trying to expose the New World Order despite any mistakes we might be making and despite any flaws that one might have. And uh, I'm here to tell you that I completely disagree with you. Nobody here is forced to be in a union with any channel. And nobody here is a leader. Not that I see, not me. Not Chrissy, not, not anybody watching, and, and not you, Jeff. I don't think you're a leader, and the reason why I don't think you're a leader for the truth, I'm going to make it abundantly clear. And uh, that will be in a short series of podcasts that Chrissy and I will be doing. And it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be fun by any means, and it's, we take no pleasure if we're right in saying that we're right, but this has gone on long enough that you think that you can tell other people what to do, even after you say you're not a leader. So what we're going to start with is that message that you sent out. Um, on public communities everywhere and we're going to talk about why this is so dangerous for a truth movement a movement that claims to be about truth and claims uh, to be about exposing the problems of the new world order well if one of them is fucking with us and you can't listen to that somebody has to talk about it and we're going to and I stand my ground 100% when I say I disagree with you that the union that I hear about, the unity that you talk about, I believe is false. And I'm going to further explain that later. So, everybody, uh, 
I ask you to please listen to both sides as my prediction is that there's going to be some people that don't want you listening to this and you don't have to believe what we say but at least listen because what you might learn is that there's a big problem within this movement and it goes well past Jeff just like we said it did in that podcast at which he took personally this isn't about Jeff this is about a much larger issue that the shills are not going to tell you about they're going to exploit so it's time that we start talking about it um, so we're not going to say what time that it's going to start just yet we'll have the event out to you um, my suggestion guys if you do want to watch these um, is to subscribe to the WDIL podcast network. You can just look it up on YouTube as WDIL and you will see the channel there. Um, and also you can join our community. Um, but I'll have both links down below once this video goes up. So it will, uh, it will become much clearer then to you guys why, we, uh, why I feel that I have to do this. And you, you'll notice that I'm speaking for myself, not for Chrissy because uh, she is her own voice, she is her own mind. And if she agrees with me, she can say it herself as well. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to be um, minimizing the interaction that I do have for the moment until that this is over and done with and then we can get back to real work because I don't want to drag this out forever. I'm not going to make this a personal thing. Um, because like I said, it's not about anger. It's not about right or wrong. It's about freedom. And the ability to look at the truth for yourself and to be able to share what you feel is truth without having someone place authority over you that they don't have. So thank you very much for listening, guys, and we will talk soon. This has been The Auto Expositor. Go subscribe to that channel.